All right, welcome everyone to uh, the first video, an actual knife review on this channel in six, 12 months, something like that. Uh, proper one. I did do one in the Blackout Boy and uh, an Elk Crunch knife uh, three and six months back, but I think they were sort of like subpar videos of mine. And uh, yeah, here's a proper sort of one. Uh, this one, I've done it before, but since doing it, it's become illegal. So yeah, here I'm doing it again. Uh, it's modified of taking a spring mechanism out because that makes it perfectly legal in the eyes of the law and enforcement agencies in this country because they haven't a fucking clue about what they're on about. Uh, <laughs> I get a little bit salty talking about this stuff, so I'm going to move on. But uh, yeah, th this is the M-Tech uh, spring, well, formerly spring assisted uh, police model knife. Ironic, I know, right? Uh, on the screen, it should show. Um, I'll just be going over it. Um, the, the, the two-tone handle, um, I like the handle, it's got a nice ergonomic grip, uh, obviously it's a knife, but uh, the blade itself is a three and a half inch partially serrated blade, it's got a little uh, little thumb bit where you can just sort of like flick it in, flick it out and whatnot, easy mode. Um, there are holes in, the, in the, the blade itself, I've seen people comment in my videos saying like, oh it's to reduce weight, no it's fucking not, it's, it's not going to reduce enough weight to make it any different, uh, you clown. But, <laughs> um, the, it has a, what's it called, a belt? Nah, what's it called? It has a little clip where you can, you can slide it on to your belt if you want to hold it on your belt or like the, your pockets or something. Uh, got a little clip thing there. Uh, it's got a belt cutter. Well, it says on the site that I was looking at there, it says it's a belt cutter. I don't know why you'd want to cut a belt. I would think it's more so for like cord or rope or something like that. Uh, that little bit in the back where it has like two little sharpened razor sort of things. Uh, slide a bit of rope in there and it cuts it open. Um, it's got a glass breaker too in the tip of it. And the, well, the bottom of it. Which is pretty helpful. Obviously because it's a police knife. But obviously in the code they are not allowed to even own it. <laughs> uh, without the modifications I've made to it. Um, it flips out when, as I remember when it had the mechanism in it. It flips out pretty nicely. Uh, it's got a lock on it, so obviously it's not going to close in your fingers or something. Um, speaking of the lock, the actual unlocking mechanism is... Uh, obviously, if you've had a spring-assisted knife or just a foldable knife, you'll know what it's like, but the unlocking uh, mechanism is just where your thumb would be if you flip it on its spine. Uh, you just push it to the side and it unlocks the knife, unlocks the blade. You can fold it back inside the handle. Simple. Just, just like that. Uh, I would do a cutting test, but I don't know how well it's going to perform because I've had this knife for years and I use it to open mail and boxes and whatnot. So it is, pretty, it is still sharp. I'll probably just get like a piece of paper or something, see if we'll cut through that. I mean, it should, but my knife has a few chips out the blade because uh, wear and tear, you know. Um, overall, I like it. I got it for like 15 or 10, 15 pounds, something like that. Uh, which is like 20 bucks, but I've seen it on sites for like 15 bucks, so it's not a it's not an expensive knife. Pretty easily to come by. Um, what the hell was I going to say there? <laughs> uh, release site had something to mention about the site. Oh yeah, the site I bought it off of uh, is where I was going to get all the information for it, like the size and the weight, because they do a pretty good job in detail on the, the aspects of the blades. Um, it's called DNA Leisure, but They've uh, unlisted it because obviously it's illegal in this country now, the knife. So I cannot get any of that information. The I can, All I can get is just a blade. It's a three and a half inch blade, as I've said. Uh, and then overall, I have actually a measuring tape. Hang on. It's about eight inches, eight and a half inches, something like that overall when it's open. So it's a pretty good size. Good size, good weight, good grip, uh, easy to use. And it does have obviously the police, um, it's not inscribed on the blade, it's just a sort of print, I guess. Uh, it says police on it. It usually does have a, a little badge, like police s badge. Police, police, I can't speak. Police esque badge on it, but I've taken that out uh, because I needed to take it off so I could take the spring out of it. Um, doesn't really make much of a difference, honestly. <laughs> But yeah, it's a pretty good knife. I, I'd, I'd recommend it. It's M-Tech. I've never had a bad M-Tech knife. My first real knife knife was an M-Tech knife. And I've never had a bad one ever. So yeah, get it. If you're looking for a nice handy carry around, if you're like working in construction or something, or 
Well, if you're in the police, I suppose. I don't think cops are allowed carrying knives, though. Uh, they can have guns, I suppose, in the US, but... <laughs> in this country, a cop's not allowed to carry on a knife. But, uh, yeah, so, overall, good knife. If you want the knife, it's a handy, uh, nice feel to it. Quick with the deployment of the blade, then, yeah, I'd recommend M-Tech. Overall, specifically, this knife is pretty, pretty tasty. And, yeah, that pretty much sums it up. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, subscribe for more knife-related content, because I like knives. Hence the channel. And yeah, have a good day. Bye.